Good day, Kavibal, and welcome to our Learn at Home Learning Session. For the discussion today, the topic will be on A Key to a Better Connection, Fostering Positive Discipline in Managing Virtual Classrooms. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you're registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.vibalgroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Share the video using hashtag learners1ph as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning, Kavibal! And now... To proceed with our webinar this evening, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker today. Mr. Joram Kim Corquera is a graduate of Bachelor in Secondary Education major in English at the Philippine Normal University in 2011. He obtained his Master of Arts major in Communication degree at the Ateneo de Manila University. Currently, he is taking his degree of Doctor of Philosophy major in English Language Studies at the University of the Santo Tomas. He has been a teacher for almost a decade and has already taught English, literature, public speaking, and research classes. He also represented the Philippines in various international research conferences about education and communication. He has been delivering CPD training sessions, and teacher seminars across the country for more than three years. He is also into journalism as he has already experienced handling a number of student publications in various schools and universities including San Beda University and University of Santo Tomas. At present, he is working as a faculty member at the University of Santo Tomas Junior High School where he teaches communication arts and journalism courses. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Mr. Joram Kim Corquera. All right, so to all the teachers, the parents, and to everyone watching this Learning at Home session tonight, good evening to everyone. Of course, there is no doubt that all of us encounter a lot of stressors, a lot of challenges, a lot of problems nowadays. And with the many hardships that we face every day, it is very important for us to ensure that we are able to handle these things positively. That is, this is why today, our topic will be focused on how we will be able to help our students, the kids, the youth, the members of this Generation Z, not only to be good in English, math, science, and other uh, content learning areas, but also, of course, to have a strong character inculcated with positive morals and virtues. I hope that tonight, all of you will be able to learn valuable insights and, of course, uh, acquire important knowledge from our session. Once again, welcome to our webinar entitled, A Key to a Better Connection, Fostering Positive Discipline in Virtual Classrooms. So allow me to share the slides that I have prepared for our uh, presentation uh, tonight. All right. So, of course, in every webinar, in every CPD training, gaya ng mga sinasabi ko lagi every time that I'm going to deliver a talk, I always begin with what I call the quote of the day or this time we'll call it the quote of the session because, of course, we were only given 30 minutes, of course, to have this talk. So, our quote would be, positive thoughts generate positive feelings and attract positive life experiences. Indeed, just like what I mentioned to you earlier, Despite all, of course, the challenges, okay, all the problems, the dilemma, of course, uh, from COVID, of course, our personal problems, we have to learn how to remain positive. Okay? It is very important, of course, that we remain positive because, if, of course, it starts all in our minds, right? And if we're going to attract, of course, uh, positive life experiences, then it must begin as well, of course, with the kind of mindset that we have. Okay? Despite, of course, all the tragedy, all, of course, the, the fear created, of course, by the 2019 coronavirus, okay? We still have, of course, to look at, uh, to, to, uh, to always, of course, find the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Of course, when you talk about the 2019 coronavirus pandemic, okay, there is no doubt that this pandemic, of course, led us, of course, to the creation of our new normal. But to talk about new normal, what is a new normal? Of course, just like what the experts actually claim, okay? COVID-19 is here to stay. Okay? And we talk about the new normal, of course, this is created okay, uh, by, of course, everyone, all of us, okay? because, of course, this, uh, this is the term that we actually use 
to refer to the way, of course, the world is working out uh, with regards to living uh, along with the virus. Okay? So again, we talk about the new normal, of course, Eto unang-una, siyempre, lahat tayo nagsasuotan ng face mask. ba? Diba? Ngayon, of course, even the, the Department of Health even advise us na kahit tao nasa loob tayo ng bahay, of course, we remain, uh, of course, we still wear our mask. So, if we're playing games for fun, for entertainment, we still wear mask. If we're going to work, let's say, for example, especially if we're going outside, we go, of course, we wear our mask. So, the new normal, in other words, of course, okay, uh, does not only appear kumbaga exist in our in our of course workplace but even in our homes di ba of course magpupunta tayo ngayon sa labas kailangan naka face mask may dala tayong laging alcohol naka face shield new normal in the workplace of course na uso ang tinatawag nating work from home setup of course sa field of education what we call distance learning and of course the new normal in schools di ba so since this is something new to us ito bago sa atin to eh bago sa atin tong normal eh the new normal. So since it's something, of course, it is inevitable not to encounter challenges. And these challenges, of course, and in uh, maximizing the potential of new normal gives us, of course, stress. Okay? But don't worry because when we talk about stress, it's normal. Okay? It's normal. But what's normal is that if we're going to deal with it on a negative way. Okay? So of course, we have to deal with it proactively. Positive pa din, okay? We have to learn how to embrace new ways positively Okay, of course, so that we will be able, of course, to maximize the potential of this new normal. And of course, we'll be able to somehow find a solution. Kahit sabihin natin medyo short-term solution pa lang ito. Okay, but hopefully, of course, in the long run, sana talaga ma-implement natin siya ng maayos, di ba? So specifically, of course, in the field of education, ano yung possible na solution na ginawa natin sa new normal sa schools? Of course, we embrace what we call the distance learning. Of course, when we talk about distance learning, we're all connected, right? Uh, through the use, of course, of uh, different products of innovation. Technology, specifically. Diba? Siyempre, lahat ng mga sudyante natin, kahit nasa lung, sa ang lupalop ng mundo, nasa ang lupalop ng Pilipinas, sa Paluzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, of course, we can still meet okay, one another okay, synchronously, of course, using uh, uh, platforms like Zoom, Gmeet, okay? Uh, of course, uh, yung sa Bival, tinatawag natin, of course, na Bival B Smart School, okay? And Bival B Smart LMS, and then the like. Okay, and whether you believe it or not, okay, this kind of education, this kind of system is going to work. Although, of course, gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, it's going to work but it's not going to be, kumbaga, sobrang smooth na flawless na wala talaga magiging problema. Especially, of course, right now, that distance learning is something new to us. So as if it's something new to us and we're not just used to it, okay, we're still exploring, of course, the system, we expect that there will always be problems. And if there are problems, there will be always be a lot of questions. Lalo na sa mga estudyante natin, sa mga parents, di ba? So itong mga questions na to, how do we manage these questions? Itong mga doubts na to, how do we deal with these things? Diba? A lot of students would run, of course, online claiming that feeling nila distance learning is not for them. Diba? I've been seeing posts na sinasabi, normal daw ba nakarating ng third year college, wala pa daw siyang alam, something like that. Okay? Of course, that's, that's not normal, right? But how do we deal with these things? Okay? Of course, mahirap man, we always have, of course, to find ways on how to be proactive. Okay? Positive discipline because just like what I mentioned uh, in my opening spill earlier, we're teachers. Okay? And we do not only teach English, math, science, TLE, Filipino, Araling Panlipunan, and the like. But we also, of course, establish character. Specifically, of course, we discipline our students. Okay? And part of discipline, of course, is training them also how to be positive. But of course, in order for us to be able to help them create that kind of positive mindset, then of course, it must start and begin with us. Okay? So now, let us talk about classroom management. Because of course, we talk about classroom management. It dito nagsisimula, di ba? How do we, of course, inculcate these values to our students? Okay? So we talk about classroom management. It is a process of creating and maintaining orderly classrooms. A set of teacher behaviors that create and maintain conditions in the classroom that permit instruction to take place efficiently and effectively. So keywords here, of course, orderly classrooms. When you say orderly classroom, sa virtual classroom, ba sabihin nyo, sir, sa virtual halos lahat orderly. Bakit? Walang maingay. Basta nakamute, walang mag-iingay. But we talk about orderly classrooms, discipline, classroom management. It's not all about, of course, the noise. The physical noise, of course, that the students actually create. It also, of course, involves uh, their behavior. 
submissions and then the like. So as long as, of course, there is a, as long as, of course, you are able to manage or or to create orderly classrooms, of course, and of course, you're able to have a specific atmosphere, baga sa loob ng klase na talaga na kapag turo ka na maayos at na iintindihan nila at maganda ang feedback nila, then that is, of course, what you call good classroom management. Okay? So earlier I was telling you, talk about classroom management. Okay, it is a very broad topic. Okay. Classroom management exists when there is a crisis and non-crisis. When there is a problem or there is no problem at all, you still, of course, manage your classes. Academic activities, kahit ano pa yan, mapa-virtual, mapa-extracurricular, mapa-co-curricular, mapa-face-to-face, that involves classroom management. Instructions, lalo na sa online, di ba? Pag hindi malinaw ang instructions natin, then talaga mga sojante nagkakagulo-gulo. Okay? And that is that means pag nagkagulo-gulo sila, hindi nila natindihan, iba-iba ang ginawa nila, that's not establishing an orderly classroom. Of course, uh, when we talk about classroom management, there will always be rules and consequences. But of course, this should be sequential. Kailangan, of course, fitting doon sa mga nagagawa nilang kamalian. Of course, the behavior of our students, their discipline, definitely. Okay, But of course, it also involves our planning. How do we uh, create our lessons as teachers? And how do we, of course, ensure that our students would follow us? How do we collaborate and coordinate with the parents on the line? And of course, it involves the students. Lahat naman eh, lahat ng kasamang sudyante natin, of course, there should be classroom management. There should be, of course, discipline. And of course, they should be able to, of course, show the right behavior. Remember, just like what Christopher Tao Vang once said, without classroom management, teaching is practically impossible. So, but we'll talk about classroom management. We'll talk about disciplining them. Gaya nung sinabi ko, positive approach. Hindi pwede yung ganito, di ba? Yung I will follow the rules, I will follow the rules, right? Gone are the days, of course, that we are allowed to do that. Ngayon nung nag-aaral ako, uh, hindi ko matandaan kung nagsulat ako ng ganyan, pero uh, siguro nagsulat ako, pero hindi naman I will follow the rules. Parang pangalan ko ata and then the like. But of course, uh, this kind of method, ginagawa, ginagamit ito lalo sa lower elementary, di ba? But of course, right now, you cannot do that because it's a form of, uh, it's actually a form of, uh, baga corporal punishment and talaga namang of course hindi mo lang hindi lang lisensya mo ang mawawala dito ano pa po ang mawawala sa iyo of course pinakamahalaga respeto ng estudyante okay so in, if you're not going to do that how are you going to of course maintain orderly orderliness in the classroom first you elicit compliance respect and subordination from them you involve them okay? you allow them to make decisions from time to time okay hindi pwedeng si teacher lang you have to make them feel that this class is also their class and that they're part of this class. So they have to take ownership as well of their own learning. And of course, you have to respect what they want. Okay? You also have to give what they want also, but not at all times. Okay? Of course, we have to draw the line between the, their needs and of course their wants. Aside from that, of course, again, you have to create your own rules and regulations. Hindi lang sa loob ng eskulahan, hindi lang sa loob ng, uh, let's say, for example, loob ng synchronous class. Even, of course, during asynchronous sessions, what would be your policy? A teacher can decide his or her own policy, but it would be best if you would design it along with your students because that's part, of course, of positive discipline. We talk about positive discipline. It is an approach based on sound pedagogical principles and practice that helps children succeed, gives them information they need to learn, and supports their development, protection uh, from violence, active participation in their own learning. In other words, Okay? In other words, well, this involves a lot of strategies, a lot of teaching techniques, approaches okay, that would help the students feel that they are in a safer place. Safer place. Kaya nga sabi dito, it plays a key role in creating safer schools where children's dignity and rights are respected and that they are equipped to achieve their full potential. Of course, this is something what, that all teachers want. right? The parents want this, the same, uh, want this to happen too. That their kids, that the students be able to develop, of course, Kumbaga yung yung feeling na they love to be uh, they, they love to attend their classes hindi yung tipong ay papasok na naman ako parang feeling ko ang dami ko ang, ang bigat-bigat sa pakiramdam right so of course if they would feel that this is a place where they're welcome this is a place where they will improve this is a place where they will be able to enhance their skills then that is of course a, uh, that that means that you are actually creating okay a safer school a safer place for them for learning and that is of course uh, one of the many ways that you can implement positive discipline Okay. Furthermore, it rejects the use of violence as a teaching tool. Okay, our focus, of course, is guiding on children's behavior and not looking for mistakes. 
Kasi yung iba, di ba, minsan nang hinahanap yung pagkakamali ng mga estudyante. But this time, no. Of course, our focus would be how we'll be able to help them become a better version of themselves. Okay? The teachers play the role of mentor and guide. Hindi punisher. Hindi rin tormentor. Okay? And of course, we enforce good behavior. Uh, uh, of course, hindi through fear. Kasi pag through fear, the students will be following you kapag nakaharap ka. Pero kapag hindi, of course, they would not be doing that. And that's not discipline. Schools make a long-term investment in a child's development. Okay. So in other words, when we talk about PIDET or positive discipline in everyday teaching, it does not only support children's uh, full development, but it also improves, of course, the school environment by eliminating the feeling of fear, of course, teaching the children self-discipline, and of course, encouraging them, of course, uh, kumbaga, to be more engaged in their learning, that they would take greater pleasure, of course, when they uh, become more involved in their own learning. Okay? So, of course, and part of doing this one, of course, is really, of course, being able to uh, foster positive behavior classroom in an online, uh, in an online classroom. Okay? So, pa paano natin po ito ginagawa? Okay? Number one, of course, you give the students choices and ownership of the class. Okay? Simple things can make a big difference in our classrooms. As the students, of course, feel that we value their opinion and that we want them to be part of it. So even in an, even in an online classroom, this is possible. Okay? Even in an online classroom, if you give them, of course, opportunities to take ownership, then of course, that is a step of fostering positive behavior. Second, of course, clearly state the goals and objectives of the lesson every day. Diba kaya nga, Nagkisimula tayo lagi objectives. Why? Because blasting them down okay, with the lesson already, not presenting object objectives and goals for the lesson of the day, of course, is a way of uh, kumbaga parang not giving them the opportunity to learn, kumbaga, uh, to, to, to set their expectations. And of course, it's also a way of, course, of not encouraging them to keep trying. So kaya napakahalaga, of course, that we present clear goals and objectives before we begin our lessons. Third, of course, is be positive and encouraging even in connection. Huwag natin sabihin, o oh, mali ka, bobo ka. O oh, mali ka, wala kang future. No. Okay? Napakahalaga po niyan, ha? Of course, uh, when we talk about uh, positive behavior, when, when, when we talk about, of course, correcting them, we have to understand that everyone commits mistakes. And of course, we learn through these mistakes. Right? So don't, Again, don't just blast them down and say that they're wrong uh, since the ultimate goal, of course, is to encourage them to keep trying. Okay? So again, uh, kung napansin nyo po, simula po tayo, of course, sa uh, pag-create ng decisions hanggang sa pag-present ng goals and objectives, of course, so that student can map out what uh, in their mind what they need to accomplish, of course, during the class time. Hanggang sa napunta tayo, of course, during in-class na, how do we, of course, manage correction? How do we, of course, correct them? How do, of course, uh, tell them that they have to improve and develop their skills? And then after that, of course, proceed tayo sa behavioral expectations. Of course, all students, all of them, of course, they know the rules in a regular classroom. But the question is, do they know the rules in an online classroom? Do they know what is expected of them in a virtual environment? If not, then of course, we have to take note of that one. And lastly, of course, use rewards and praises. Sadly, okay, this is the, the truth, eh, no? truth be told. Sa Pilipinas, maraming schools, maraming deductions, demerits, right? Pero very rare ang schools na may rewards and praises na appraised. Let's say, for example, kunyari, na late ka, minus one, minus two, minus one, minus two, absent ka, and excuse and the like. Okay? Pero very rare, for example, kunyari, nagbalik ka ng pera, may napulot ka, tapos nabalik mo yung pera, may plus one. May mga schools na ganun, pero very rare. So, of course, sana in our schools or even in our classes, we will be able, of course, to reward them Okay, of the, kumbaga, for their good deeds as well. Kumbaga, para at least ma-feel naman nila na hindi lang tayo naghahanap ng mali. Of course, kumbaga, even yung good things na ginagawa nila, of course, we commend them for those things. Right? So again, we establish, of course, discipline. Napakahalaga po nito. Ah. Okay, of course, even if it's positive approach, dapat po may disiplina. So what is discipline? Again, discipline, of course, is about enforcing the expectations set by the classroom management principles. Of course, it requires Teachers, of course, to use fairness, consistency, flexibility, logical consequences, assertiveness, motivation, firmness, and modification. And it has to be executed according to a hierarchy of consequences or sequential order of rules. In other words, when we talk about classroom discipline, of course, this involves the consequences of their actions. Okay? And of course, kung baga kung paano natin siya gagawin, i-apply case-to-case basis. 
But of course, it requires consistency. Kahit case-to-case basis. So let's say, for example, kunyari, sabihin natin, isang batang absent dahil nagkasakit, pero nagpasa ng letter. Isang batang absent kasi nagpunta sa beach. So, parehas ba ang minus noon? O dapat ba may minus na parehas? O yung isa dapat wala? Okay? So, of course, our rules and regulations, of course, dapat consistent yan. Dapat, of course, logical din yung consequence. Kasi pag hindi, of course, this, uh, itong way natin to discipline the students would result to what? Kumbaga, negative ang dating sa mga bata niyan. So, of course, even yung pagplano natin ng rules and regulations, of course, sa loob ng klases, sa loob ng eskwalahan, of course, must be done kumbaga talagang uh, uh, critical talagang pagda- kumbaga talagang dapat sobrang pinag-iisipan po yan. Right? So, of course, always remember, my dear teachers, okay, that when you talk about discipline, is not about punishing them. Okay? Remember, discipline is not the same as punishment. Baka sabihin natin, ah, okay, kunyari ganito, bigyan ko ng punishment yan. No. Discipline is about helping children to understand and moderate their own behavior. And of course, punishing simply aims to control that behavior. So, misan, nangyari sa yun mo, o, for example, o, tumalikod ka dyan, naiharapin mo yan, dyan ka lang, 30 minutes, titigil siya, ayusin niya yung gagawin niya sa tamang, sa oras na yun. Pero that does not mean na natutunan niya yun. And of course, right now, punishment, hindi na to allowed, di ba? Hindi na to pinapayagan, of course, ng Department of Education, right? So, again, when you talk about punishment, of course, this could be physically or verbally. Okay? And of course, definitely, uh, it discourages learning and prevents children from learning to moderate their own behavior. Kagaya nung sinabi ko kanina, if you would be, of course, kumbaga, for example, sabihin natin, physical punishment like slapping, punching, hitting with objects, pulling of ears. Pag ginawa mo yung mga yan, sabi ko nga sa'yo, it would, of course, result not only to your license being revoked, but also, of course, to losing the respect of your students. Which is, of course, masakit yun. Kasi pag walang respeto ang bata, hindi makikinig, mahihirapan ka hindi yung magagawa ang trabaho mo. But to say punishment, hindi lang yan kasama yung physical punishment. Of course, kasama din dyan yung emotional punishment. Like for example, shouting, yelling, name-calling, put-downs, ignoring, embarrassing, shaming. Kasi lahat yan, of course, that tends to be one-sided. Okay? So what are the disciplinary actions teachers must avoid to be able to foster positive management? Avoid that in extra academic work. Reducing grades, writing as punishment, labor, exercise, corporal punishment, appeasement, harsh and humiliating reprimands, shouting at them, okay, threats, nagging, forcing apologies, mag-sorry ka, mag-sorry ka, hindi tayo mag-sorry, hindi ka rin sorry, bawal po yan, okay? Of course, even yung sarcastic remarks, baka isipin nyo, hindi kayo naiintindihan ng bata, di ba? Naiintindihan po kayo, of course, napapahiya kasi sila. So, itong mga bagay na to, my dear teachers, lahat po to, kailangan po talaga nating iwasan. Okay? Always remember, my dear teachers, in the Philippines, the Department of Education aims to eliminate the practice of corporal punishment and other humiliating forms of punishment because these things do not help our students to develop themselves. So ano po ang dapat natin gawin? Hindi po punishment. Again, the solution is positive discipline. Okay? So focus on discipline rather than punishment. Non-violent. Focus on the solution, not on the problem. Okay? Of course, analyze the problem, but of course, focus on the solution. What will happen after this? Okay? It must always respect both sides. Hindi yung tipo hindi pa nagsisimula, may, may pag-uhusga ka na. Diba? And of course, it must be based on child development uh, principles. Okay? So, aside from that, of course, it aims to teach children to understand and follow social rules inside and outside of the classroom without using physical or emotional violence. Hindi nila kailangan na masaktan, masigawan bago sumunod. Positive discipline, of course, uh, provides children the knowledge and skills to control and take responsibility for their own behavior, of course, emphasizing the illustration, of course, of correct behavior, application, of course, of the what is expected of them. I said, this is, of course, the right way to teach the children. Kasi dito nila gagawin kung ano yung expected sa kanila. Kasi alam nila na ito yung tama. Okay? So again, when you talk about, of course, PIDET, ito yung kanilang PIDET building block, of course. Uh, here, this model identifies the key elements of the positive discipline in everyday teaching approach. All must be put into practice in all interactions with the students. Gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, classroom management, pedet, crisis, non-crisis, pasok yan lahat. So problem solving, recognizing individual differences, understanding uh, child behavior, uh, development, providing warm structure, setting long-term goals, uh, 
child rights principles and pedagogical principles. This model, of course, ident uh, of course, is non-violent. Again, and encourages respect for human rights as it emphasizes understanding and communication. And of course, here in this kind of setup, we look at we look at mistakes, bagay mga wrongdoings nila as opportunities, of course, for children to learn how to do better next time. Okay, so of course there are foundations of uh, there are of course foundations of positive discipline, yung mga child rights principles. Of course, na kailangan natin irespeto. All people, of course, have basic rights. These rights apply to everyone, regardless of race, color, gender, language, religion, opinions. Or origins, wealth, birth status, or ability. So, dapat as teachers, aware tayo sa mga principles na yan. Ito po, hindi ko na po isa-isahin. Pero, the right to survival and full development of potential, yung education, pagkain, healthcare, dignidad nila, right to protection from violence, exploitation, cruelty, discrimination, right to participate in decision-making by expressing their opinions, and of course, uh, uh, having their opinions respected, having a say in matters and affect, affect them, them, having to access information and the like. So, teachers, hindi ko na to ididipin. But why am I showing this one to you? It's primarily because I want you to know that as teachers, it is your responsibility. It is our responsibility to ensure that we are able, of course, to provide these things to our students. Okay? So, again, principles of positive discipline, holistic, applies to uh, not only to student behavior but to all aspects holistic approach sa lahat ng interaction natin with the students it must be done kapag nagtuturo tayo sa klase pinapagalitan natin sila tinuturuan natin ng tamang behavior may activity or what positive discipline strength based of course we try to use kumbaga their strengths and eventually find ways to strengthen it further Constructive, of course, because we view mistakes as opportunities for their own learning, allowing the students, of course, to strengthen student self-esteem and confidence. Inclusive, because regardless if they're color, gender, age, height, lahat yan, of course, positive discipline, pasok sila dyan. Okay, proactive, again, positive, okay, identifies the root of the behavioral and learning difficulties and implement strategies to promote success and avoid conflict. Not judging them. Ay, pasaway yung bata nyo, wala talaga nasipin. No, we have to... I-trace natin ano bang root nito. Baka mamaya may problema sa pamilya. And then I like, of course, help them because it's part of their development. And of course, participatory. Engage the students in the learning process and in, in the school, of course, community. So this six principles, okay? Ito yung pinakamahalagang anim na principle, of course, ng positive discipline in everyday teaching that we have to remember. Unfortunately, we have limited time today. Kaya hindi tayo, of course, makapag... Uh, kumbaga, hindi ko... Uh, kumbaga... Uh, Uh, marami, na, marami tayong of course pwedeng basahin about positive discipline but of course it would be our job as educators to be able of course to improve and deepen our knowledge let's dig deeper dito sa positive development right so always remember that every child in your class is someone's whole world okay? kaya kapag dinidisiplina natin sila huwag natin sila of course kumbaga isipin na pasaway makulit ayoko estudyante to of course because kahit no matter how we hate them the students of course are someone's Cool world, especially of their parents. Even if we're, we're meeting our students online, we have to understand that we are opinion leaders. Whatever we say, whatever we do, of course, affect them. So we always have, of course, to model the right behavior so that, of course, the students will be able to do what is expected of them as well. Okay? Always remember the students of the future will demand the learning support that is appropriate for their situation on context. Nothing more, nothing less. Everything changes, and if we are not going to change along with these changes, my dear teachers, of course, then we can never help our students to change and, of course, become the person that they should be. Okay? So again, teachers, okay, gone are the days that we implement corporal punishment. Gone are the days, of course, that we use punishment as a method of discipline. Right now, of course, we have to remain proactive, and we have to remain, of course, positive, no matter how hard our situation is. Okay? So yun lang po, my dear teachers. Thank you so much for attending our session. Ayan, so four minutes, uh, sobra po tayo ng four minutes. Apologies for that one. But I hope that our session tonight is fruitful. Sana po marami po tayo natutunan. Thank you po, Ms. Jillian. Thank you very much, sir. Do you have any last reminders to our viewers for today po?
Last reminder, yun nga po yung sinabi ko. I know right now there are a lot of stressors. Kumbaga talaga yung nakaka-stress talaga, di ba? COVID, yung cases, yung mga quarantine status. Of course, may personal problems pa. Yung hirap ng pagtuturo, the internet connection. There will be a lot of challenges. But I hope that my dear teachers, at the end of the day, we will always be able to find the light at the end of the tunnel. Na wag kumbaga, let's not lose hope. Diba? Kumbaga, let's be, kumbaga, kumbaga, let's help our students pa din po no matter what happens. And of course, kumbaga, let us see this challenge, let's, let us see this uh, problems, uh, dilemma, lahat po yung problema na yan. Of course, let us see this as challenges uh, for us, of course, to be able to fulfill our mission in the lives of our students. And of course, that is really to help them become the best versions of themselves. And there we have it. In behalf of Ibal Group Incorporated, I would like to thank our speaker for today for this very insightful learning session. It is an honor to have you with us today, sir. And to all our Kabibal viewers, all thanks to you for your continuous patronage to our daily learning session. Don't forget to register to get your e-certificate of participation. We also encourage you to subscribe and watch on our official Bibal Facebook and YouTube channel. Muli, Maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat. Stay safe mga kabibal! Thank you po!